my friends. Remained our calculation one more time. This time, we are going to investigate the sum of 2022 to the 210th power plus 210 to the 2022nd power, divided by 90. What is the remainder then? Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. This is a pretty big number. As always, we first ask, whether this big number is divisible by 90. Which in fact means whether it is divisible by both 9 and 10. Let's first take a look at if it is divisible by 9. This big number has two terms. If both terms are divisible by 9, the summation must be divisible by 9. Although this is only sufficient but not necessary, it does not hurt if we check it first. Look at the first term. We naturally ask, whether 2022 is divisible by 9? The answer is no. But it is indeed divisible by 3. 2022 is in fact equals to 3 times 674. That's enough, because 2022 to the 210th power can be written as 3 to the 2nd power times 674 to the 2nd power, multiplied by 2022 to the 208th power. So the first term is divisible by 9. Let's look at the second term then. For the same reason, 210 to the 2022nd power is equal to the 3 to the 2nd power times 70 to the 2nd power, and then multiplied by 210 to the 2020th power. So it is also divisible by 9. So this big number is divisible by 9. Let's then check if it is divisible by 10. The number which is divisible by 10 must have 0 at its 1's place. In other words, the digit at 1's place is exactly the remainder of the number divided by 10. The digit at 1's place of the second term is obviously 0, so this term is divisible by 10. But that of the first term is obviously not 0. In this case, we need to ask what the remainder of this term divided by 10 is. To calculate the digit at the 1's place of a very high power of a number, we may keep those four digits in mind. They are 0, 1, 5, and 6. Because, if the digit at 1's place of a number is one of these four digits, then that of any power of this number will remain unchanged. Then what if the digit is not any of these four? In that case, we can multiply a few such numbers together first. For instance, if the digit at 1's place is 9, we multiply two of them, and then get the digit as 1. If the digit is 7, we multiply four of them and also get the digit as 1. Every digit can eventually reach one of these four in such a way. The digit at 1's place of our current number 2022 is 2. Among these four digits, it corresponds to 6. Because multiplying 2 for 4 times together equals to 16. So we write 2022 to the 210th power, as 2022 to the 4th power, and then to the 52nd power, multiplied by 2022 to the 2nd power. The digit at 1's place of the first part is 6. And that of the latter part is 4. Multiply them together, we get this digit is still 4. So the digit at 1's place of 2022 to the 210th power is 4. Then, is this big number divisible by 10? No. Dividing this number by 10, we get the remainder 4. To sum them up, this big number is divisible by 9. Whereas the remainder of it divided by 10 is 4. So what is the remainder of it divided by 90? We denote this remainder as x. If we consider the difference of this big number subtracting x, we will see it is divisible by both 9 and 10. That is, x is divisible by 9. The remainder of x divided by 10 is 4. And, please don't forget, x needs to be smaller than 90. There is only one number that fulfill those three conditions, and it is 54. So, the remainder of this big number divided by 90 is 54. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.